you know there are some relationships that you are going to be in and you'll be so drained you ask yourself what made you be in that relationship in the first place but you can't tell yourself that because at the end of the day those people they were very very attractive so you can't lie about that but aside from that is there something else that made you attracted to that person apart from physique or the way they smell so this is how my own story goes but before we dive into that story please don't forget to subscribe to my channel if you are new and old thank you and for everybody that have been commenting on my videos thank you very much so let's dive right into it so before i tell you the reason why my ass came back i'm going to tell you guys a story so this story goes like this you know there was this guy that i saw and i liked but he liked me first so he approached me for you know a relationship so i agreed we were in the relationship but he acted so good the first time then later on he started acting so weird start being manipulative start making me when he does something wrong he uses psychology to make me believe i'm the one at fault but because i read so much i'm so intellectual i'm sorry but i am so i always knew the loopholes that he's trying to do and he cheated on me as well so then it was so heartbreaking you get but i got over here i'm a big girl right i'm a big girl <laughs> see how much i've grown to still be crying over a man no so later on you know because of the way he treats me he doesn't answer my calls if I call him on phone, he doesn't pick. He calls in his own convenient time. And then he will question me why I don't call him. Nigga, I just called you. I called you last three, four days ago. You didn't pick and you didn't bother to return my calls. Now you are asking me why I did not pick your call. Or why have I not been calling you? Like, can you see how manipulative this dude is? He was just a bad news in my life. You get? By the end of the day, I blocked his ass. Not just blocking, I erased him out from myself, my memory, everything about him, I erased. <laughs> so, to cut the long story short, do you know how many years me and this guy, we haven't spoke for how many years? And then, a few weeks ago, this guy called me on phone and sat telling me that he misses me. He wants the both of us to come back together. Like, I asked him, like, since how many years ago did you make that decision? That me, I've not made a decision to be with you. I asked him, I asked him if he's married. He said that he's not yet married. I told him in his age, who would have been married by now. Because trust me, that guy is not a young guy. He's not, but I'm not going to tell you guys his age. I'm not going to tell you guys his age, but he's not a young guy. By now, he would have been married with three kids or two kids. You get? And he said he's not married. I said, oh. I told him it's because there's prostitution in his eyes. He, he, he was... <laughs> He was agitated, but he told me no that he have changed that he's not he's not the same guy. I told him that he should change for the right woman that I am not the right woman. He said no, baby, and I'm the right woman for him. That he came back so that we can sort things out, you know, so that you know we talk about marriage and stuff. And then do you know the next thing I told him? I told him, I rebuke you and your marriage in the mighty name of Jesus. I rebuke you in the mighty name of Jesus. I rebuke your intentions for me in the mighty name of Jesus because they are not good ones. Do you know what this guy did next? He caught the call on me. Sis, if, it's, if that is not evil, if that is not devil, what is this? What it is? I don't know. So I... Hmm... He knows what is coming to him next. He knows that I can never take my vomit back. 
like if God forgive me for my wrongdoings, he doesn't want me to go back to what I was doing, right? So why would I go back to something that I've left in the past? I don't know how you girls do it just because a man came, you know, because your ex came back and start forming, oh, I've changed. And then you run back into his arms. Let me tell you one reason why this ex of mine came back. He came back because he thinks that I can be easily manipulated as he did in the past. But I wasn't. And he came with, um, you know, trying to help me kind of thing. Because he asked me, oh, have I gotten a job? And I told him, yes, I've gotten a job. Because obviously I have. I told him, yes, I've gotten a job. But if he said I was looking for a job, he would have used that as an avenue to sneak his way into my life again. Yeah, sorry. That's how these narcissist men behave. So, sis, open your eye. Open your eye. Okay? So, these are the reasons. I've told you number one and number two reasons. So, other reasons, figure it out by yourself. I'm not your mother. I'm not your mother. <laughs> I'm not your mother. I'm not your mother. No, I'm not. So... But please stop going back to your ex. And also, there's another of my videos that, that is going to come up. I don't know, maybe before the end of this month, it's going to be up. The title of that video is going to be Stop Dating Men. Friend Zone Them, Sis. Friend Zone Them. That is the title of that video. And I'm going to make it very clear on the reason why I said that in that video. So please keep on. Keep a lookout for that video because if that video pass you by, good things will just be passing you by. Like, do you want do you want good things to pass you by? Do you do you? No 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 no. You don't want that. You don't want that in your life. So let's. So this is the end of my video, and thank you for tuning in today. And please don't forget to subscribe to my channel, like this video, share it. This is a fun video. It's a fun video. We must not always be serious in this channel. Once in a while, we'll be on serious. But this is a true life. So this really happened to me. Okay? So.